Hey guys, today I wanted to make a video and it's kind of a response video to Rudy's video on why Alpha Investments video on why he canceled 400 boxes of Caldas. I canceled boxes as well, not 400, but I canceled nine because I had this gut feeling that it was just a waste of money. So I got two call, I, I canceled my first order, my pre-order. And then I got two more calls on Saturday. I got a text message and then a phone call on Saturday from two different stores saying, hey, we're gonna get give you this, you know, we're gonna give you a case and a half like you normally order at a discount rate. Are you interested in it? And the discount rate was $79.50, which I know is a very good rate. I said no. And the reason I said no was because there's just two months of variance. And you might think, oh, what do you mean variance? Well, the masterpieces are, if you open the wrong masterpiece in your case, you're kind of just screwed. And there's so many, there's just too many masterpieces and there's too many bad ones. There's too many Gerhoks. Uh, there's too many cards that just don't make sense for them to be masterpieces. And if you open one of those, your whole box or whole case is done. Because there's no additional value from most of the rares excluding you know the uh chopter the copter right and i don't know like it to me seems like wizard of coast created a lottery system to take advantage of its players now any lottery system as well as gambling or casino or even fantasy football draft kings and things of that nature the end goal is to make profit. It's not to benefit the players. It has never been to benefit the players. And lottery system works this way. If you look at the state lottery or the national lottery, you people put in money and it goes into a pot. The money is then split and some of it supposedly goes to schools and hospitals and public services. But I don't know if, you know, it depends on each state where it goes to. So everyone puts in the money and the company takes the, some of the profits. They determine how much profit they take and then they give you uh, a little bit back to one winner. So there are very few winners, many participants, and the, many of these and almost all of the participants or a large majority of them are in the lower income demographics. It's true for casinos. It's true for Casuto. It's true for... You know, any casino I've ever been, if you go look at who plays at casinos every day, it's going to be the lower income demographics. I'm not talking about the bachelor party in Las Vegas. I'm talking about the people who get on the bus from Houston to Louisiana. And I've done that myself because it's, you know, it's like $18 for a bus ride, which is like crazy. And then you get $10 of play points, which is like, so it's like $8 a bus ride. And then you get a discount buffet and then you get a free room too. But anyway, that's besides the point. It takes advantage of people who cannot afford to budget or who do not know how to budget and cannot afford to spend the money they do, which gets to my, me to my friend, Brendan. Brendan has been my friend since we were in elementary school or at least sixth grade. And he buys about a box a set, but Battle for Zendikar got him super, super hyped. I've never seen him that excited about anything including his like you know honestly his marriage like i've never like he wasn't that he was beyond excited so he bought six cases for 540 dollars a case which you might say oh that sounds kind of expensive a case which you know it's about right for a case but that was when it was being hyped so that was actually a good price so he spent uh three thousand plus dollars so six cases times 540 a case times six wow 3200 plus dollars on a set he didn't recuperate any of the money those cards are still in his closet he just got rolled over he makes about 12 dollars an hour and you know and i've talked to him about it because he's asked me to buy parts of his collection and i just feel bad about it because that is his collection that he's had for a very long time, but he has no other choice. I'm not going to buy Battle for Zendikar. 
no, there's nothing outside of the expeditions I would even want from that set. The set was incredibly weak. And it has been taxing on him financially. And it's been taxing on his relationship with uh, his family. Kaladas, to me, and the future of these masterpieces are... It's a lottery system. A lottery system by its structure, takes advantage of those who have or in a lower income demographic. There are, there are very few winners. There will be a few winners in Wizards of the Coast and in YouTube channels. They will hype up these winners and say, oh, they have opened you know, a masterpiece that's more, a, let's say, uh, a soul ring masterpiece from one box. You can do it too. No, you can't do it. And the majority will never open a masterpiece like that. They'll just have junk. Just junk for days. So my advice, buy singles and just logically make your decision yourself. Don't listen to the hype. Don't listen to... Um, you know, even I get super excited when I see a cool card. But at the end of the day, it... Opening boxes of this is not worth it. And you we need to send a message to Wizards of the Coast. Hey, guys, you're printing too much stuff. Hey, you're extending the budget that we have for a hobby. And it's just insane. Like, I want to buy Commander 2016. I want to buy... Conspiracy 2 is already over. I, that went... What, what happened to that? Like, it just, boom, it's gone. And, you know, then we have Modern Master 2017. We have A for revolt it just never ends like what else like and <laughs> i'm i'm a little bit appalled by the fact that we are currently under a lottery system for magic the gathering because financially it makes a lot of sense for wizards of the coast but a lottery system the structure of it does take advantage of certain types of players anyway Bye, guys.